organization sounding the alarm on the issue of homelessness in the city. This comes just days after they say a woman seeking shelter died before she could receive help. Riley Wyant fills us in on their call to action. These organizations demanding city leaders declare a homeless state of emergency to address the absence of a year round shelter and other resources here in Richmond. We have people that are homeless that have now died. The deaths have been ongoing. Most recently this past week, she was 66 years old and she passed away right here. Arlene Simmons with RVA boots on the ground gathering with community members on the steps where Linda, a woman experiencing homelessness, died. She says the situation grows more desperate by the day as the inclement weather shelters closed down for the season three weeks ago. They are everywhere. They are in the encampments. They are under tents and tarps. How dare we continue to let this happen? We're asking for the shelters to open back up immediately. Councilor Stephanie Lynch says as a part of the proposed budget set to be taken up Monday evening, the city plans to put $2 million aside for a year-round emergency shelter. Last year, the city secured $4.5 million to open four different cold weather shelters, but only three of them opened. We have failed them. We have failed them. And it is not a money problem. It is not a money problem. We have over a billion dollar budget. According to recent data from nonprofit Homeward, compared to last year, the number of people living outside in unsheltered conditions increased by 121 percent, saying that was the largest increase they've seen in 15 years. Pastor Joe Reeves at Tabernacle of Praise began opening his doors to those experiencing homelessness when he noticed they had nowhere else to turn. Now the, home, the shelters are closed. Where do you expect them to go? Where do you expect them to stay? Again, if that is you, if that is your child, how do you want them to be treated? If the proposed budget passes, which includes that money for the year round shelter, the budget will go into effect July 1st. On your side in Richmond, Riley Wyant, NBC 12 News. In Allen, Texas.